Welcome all to another episode of Picking Up Heavy Things and Putting Things Back Down. This episode we're going to be looking at the Candido 6 week program, how I've been using it and what my thoughts are generally. So first clip we have here is 150 kilos and this is a 10 rep max PR, something I've never really done before. Um, regarding my squats throughout this whole program, uh, something that I tried to actually focus and hone in on was actually getting depth when I'm using the low bar. Like you can see here with some of the reps, they're not really optimal in terms of the depth. Um, obviously, to be powerlifting legal, but you know this was very very difficult in terms of a uh, one of the longest sets I've done um, for that amount of weight uh, and intensity. Um, but generally, I've quite enjoyed it. So throughout this whole cycle it's been more of trying to just fully emphasize that kind of uh, that depth so I'm not really uh, cheating myself as such if that makes sense but yeah that was bloody hard and I almost died doing that 10th rep but anyway moving on so here we have squats uh, from the 8th of September and this is 122.5 kilos um, this felt pretty nasty as well. It's probably a little bit heavier than what I'm accustomed to. Um, I did try to grind out some of these as best as I could. Um, and I got five reps on this set. This is my first set. And quite interesting enough, um, I think if you see the last rep here. Good. Yeah. So there, as Lewis mentioned, uh, that was an RPE 11 with blood coming out of my nose uh, from all the blood pressure building up. Not something that happens too often. That's probably the second time ever that's happened in the past year. Um, it does show that you know, I'm just really pushing myself quite hard, but I continued on. Anyway, on to some deadlifts here. This was my last set of deadlifts. Um, this actually moved quite nicely. Um, I did enjoy this, um, and it was just the right amount of intensity, uh, considering how heavy my squats were earlier, over 122, which is about very close to about 90% of my uh, uh, max squat anyway. So moving nice and steadily. And just there, I just didn't have enough power to execute another deadlift. Anyway, we've got our bench day here. So this is 67 and a half kilos. Um, not the most significant weight that I've ever lifted, but um, I've noticed since actually I've been practicing this exercise a bit more and actually training the triceps as well. Um, the consequent result of that has been just, it's been, uh, the bench has uh moved a lot smoother compared to previous experiences and I think it's more so uh, because I've got that strength in my triceps to actually drive through and grind through a rep you know, even though it's very 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 slow um, however still off the chest I think that is probably one of my biggest weak points um, so it's something that I still need to work on grinding out a little bit but here we, um, if I remember correctly, this was six reps, so pretty good. Quite happy with it for three sets, so no issues whatsoever. And that's a big ass right there. And if you're checking that out and you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Um, anyway, <laughs> so we've got bench here again. This is 72 and a half kilos. Uh, this isn't a PR, but. Uh, for me, I think this is quite something that's fairly significant weight to be pushing. Uh, previously, I did manage to get four reps as a PR. This was a nice triple. Uh, just give me a break. Um, 
Again, I think here I'm able to actually get a bit of speed off the bottom when I'm actually grinding to grind the weight out. I couldn't be bothered to do a fourth rep, I just thought it wasn't worth risking it. I was kind of tired that day. So, anyway. So, this here we have is 127 kilos. Uh, we did this for a triple. So, this would be a PR in and of itself. Um, quite a significant weight. Very close to, I think this is about 90. 5-ish percent of my uh, max as well, around. If not, it's about 92 and a half. Uh, I was quite surprised how well I buried these, um, considering how horrible my depth has been short during the start of the cycle, but really happy with that. And then here we've got 132 and a half kilos. Um, this was pretty heavy. I was pretty scared about having this weight on my back as well, but yeah, let's see how we get on. quite pleased about that as you can tell after my re-rack and I did put it as a very very tasty PR um, next up we got our deadlifts 150 for a triple 150 isn't uh, is a weight that I can manage mostly um, best PR was 170 um, this actually felt pretty comfortable I was surprised how smooth this moved considering the amount of work I did for that day with the squat at 127 and then 132. Couldn't really be bothered to drop it. Uh, to, yeah, I couldn't really, be, yeah, but it's good. And then we've got a PR here with 157 and a half kilos for a triple. Um, so in a moment, we'll have a video popping up showing a 155 for a triple as well. Um, I do take it like my time to set up properly because I feel that's the best way to execute a deadlift and also when you've got that much weight on the bar it does scare you a little bit so here we have the comparison so I think if we look at it on the first rep the speed basically is the exact same one core difference though uh, was that moving from the second and third rep I didn't really take much time to breathe and I was actually felt just felt very confident given how smoothly um, the first rep moved and then we've got the third rep here it's a little bit of a grinder but we get it in the end and you see with the 155 video uh, in the top right here it's that's a grinder as well but I had to take plenty of rest but anyway I think that concludes roughly uh, four weeks of Candido the next video here you will see a uh, max out session of my fifth week and how those all those numbers go Anyway, peace out guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.